Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Team GB. Today, as you could probably guess, uh, we'll be reviewing my CPU, the FX8120. Uh, this is the box, I'll just to show you the big FX81 sticker. Anyway, so front of the box is really, really nice looking. This is a metal box. It's actually really, really, really nice for AMD. Um, little badge thing there. Uh, AMD FX 8 core processor, black edition. Their motto, as you probably guessed, a broken seal uh, and the other seal. Although I just realised the lid's on the wrong way. Anyway, that's where the CPU would be if it wasn't in my system already. So I'm just gonna. So yeah. Who needs that? Anyway, so you got your. Uh, please read this. Uh, um, one thing I would definitely recommend before you buy this is make sure to ask the motherboard provider, as in uh, if you're buying an Asus motherboard, ask Asus if they have the BIOS chip uh, updated because what this thing says and what I had first hand experience with was that if you don't uh, upgrade the BIOS chip on your motherboard uh, it will not even post and I got quite scared and I didn't have my PC running for like three days, four days and I was very lucky I pulled off my BIOS chip, shoved it back in again and it magically worked but don't expect that to work so this extremely large, extremely, extremely large um, guide on how to put the blinking um, AMD CPU in and with the cooler on it. For some reason, they've uh, include. Oh my God! This is this is just a generalized one. This is for installation procedure for socket seven five four nine three nine and nine forty. AM2 all the way to AM3 Plus and FM1 and even for the F1207 that's rubbish anyway uh, the CPU comes in this it's some very nice thermal paste covered box uh, padded that's where the pins go obviously that's where the CPU is and there's a FX sticker which if you're so insistent I'll show you later uh, now, this doesn't actually fit in the box properly. <laughs> so, see, nice tin box. No. Cover the hole and use it for tea. No. Oh well, it's a nice box. And the completely obvious and rudimentary and terrible and boring old CPU cooler. With. Well, mine has no thermal paste. you believe that? Two heat pipes and what looks to be like an 80 mil if you're lucky. Alright so that's the box content so you've got your box and CPU cooler that took me hours to mount, it was annoying. Um, anyway so we're going to jump into the PC which is down there uh, and we will uh, take a look at some temperatures with a decent cooler on it and um, if you want to see proper temperatures with Prime95 uh, watch the Havoc 140 review which will be I don't know, probably next to the video which is there anyway um, so we're going to jump to the PC and then we will uh, look at all the stuff alright so what I've done is I've done 3D Mark Vantage first so as you can see the CPU score is 14,924 now that's not too bad, honestly, uh, but there's nothing really to compare that to. So what I did next was the most obvious choice, I guess, uh, in the sense that this is Performance Test 7.0. Uh, now this is running at stock clock before any hot fixes or any other fixes that AMD brought out. So at 3.1 GHz. <coughs> Sorry, uh, this CPU is 7361.2. Now, 
I'm just going to come out of this screenshot. Quite like that, didn't you? Let's just focus in. Right. So I'm going to come out of that and that and go into this. Now this may look like just some really colourful stuff, but <gasps> FX8120, now this one says it's 7080, they differ slightly. Uh, the, where is it, the 8150, which is literally 0.2 gigahertz higher, scored 1000 200 ish more and that's pretty remarkable uh, I'd just like to make you aware of the fact that the i5 down here at 3.3 gigahertz only scores 6792 now considering that is the same price as oh look the FX 8150 right at the top uh, if you were wondering, the twi i7 2600K scores 9000, so I reckon that if you overclocked even the 8120 enough, you could get to the i7 performance on here. Now obviously these, aren't, these are just uh, benchmarks and these don't really represent too much besides, I guess you could call it bragging rights. Um, so I tried running Crossfire, I had a bit of a setback in that, but um, the processor was not any sort of limiting factor. The fact that this has 8 cores slash threads, whatever you want to call it, I don't care, um, is brilliant. The uh, gaming experience is perfectly fine, um, I don't get any lag or anything, although that is very helpful with having a half decent graphics card. Um, if you're wondering what the noise is, it's because I'm Bitcoin mining. I know you're probably going to call me stupid. Uh, anyway, let's just go into that. So, I'll leave it on that, but this is a, a very, very, very good processor, especially since um, this is 160 quid, uh, brand new, 140 uh, nowadays. So, at 140 quid, this compares to the i f i5 2400 or 2300. So, or if you're looking at Ivy Bridge, there isn't one that it compares to because it's just brilliant. <laughs> um, but it is very, very power hungry. Uh, mine's about 180 watts, I think. So make sure you have a decent power supply, especially if you're going to run something like Crossfire or SLI as well. Um, there's my PC running away. Yeah, my trousers today. Uh, I would definitely recommend getting an aftermarket cooler. Um, oh yeah, there's the FX badge. To mention it, unlocked FX processor. Um, I should also mention that there is two or three hot fixes that AMD launched, which means, uh, as far as I know, one of them makes the uh, processor into effectively a four-core because the bulldozer architecture is it has a compute unit which consists of two cores and each co uh, sorry yeah each compute unit consists of two cores but if it and it has uh, four different compute units but if each compute unit acted as one core that's one extremely powerful core instead of two lesser powerful cores so in extreme tasks I guess like these benchmarks it should uh, very very much help. Um, also with file compression and video editing if you're silly and uh, actually do it on uh, your CPU. Um, but overall 8 out of 10. Eight out of ten. Uh, great CPU. Uh, great value for money and because it's AMD the motherboards are cheap. <laughs> um, on motherboards, mine is a Crosshair 5 formula, uh, 990 FX chipset. Um, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, also great for overclocking because they come unlocked out of the box. Um, and I think that's it. If you have any questions, don't forget to post in the comments down there somewhere.
yeah, that's my finger. Um, Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.